What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 9 and in this tutorial what we'll do we'll do actually um, or maybe we'll understand how to actually uh, check the availability of uh, of a document uh, using rest api or python so here the search uh, the search criteria will be will be going to search using the document id so basically if you want to check uh, if a specific document id is available or not you can use this approach but if you want to actually search a document with uh, with the specific attribute or specific field from the document that is actually not this tutorial that we will do in the next section or next session but in this tutorial we will just go and check whether a specific document id is available or not so maybe let's say you are you are actually uh, creating a sequential um, doc, uh, sequential uh, like integration between a source and target maybe source will be a log file and target will be your elk and after that maybe you want to check a consistency like all the document ids are actually properly populated or not so maybe that time or during uh, some sort of health checkup you can use this uh, thing for random uh, checking like let's say document id 5 is available document id 15 is available or document id 200 is available something like that okay just to uh, do some quick uh, random health checkup right so this is not very uh, like uh, very uh, important thing but again very essential or basic things uh, to know it uh, um, uh, the query or elastic search query or maybe uh, elastic search rest api so basically uh, you can do the same thing using uh, elastic search uh, developer tool and also you can do the same thing from the rest api so maybe if i uh, go ahead and show you from the uh, developer uh, tool so maybe if we go here and what you can do basically it is actually going to be a gate operation so first we have to write what first we have to actually write and uh, get query here so get queries are actually going to be something like this so maybe get and after that you'll be going to write your index name so maybe my index is actually all of you know test this is my index and after that suppose i want to search a specific document so it should be underscore doc right and after that what will happen we'll be going to write a specific document id one right and after that you have to write like this and after that you have to like underscore source and you have to like false if you do like this and after that if you see see document is one id one is available so that is why it is showing like this so maybe let's say i'll be going to say document id this so it is not available so it is going to say false okay so same thing now i'll be going to implement using python okay so what i'll do i'll go here and okay first thing uh, i'll be going to make it a little bit bigger okay and then import request okay and then uh, very uh, basic thing like um, uh, we'll be just going to do a request uh, operation like so means request dot get so basically i can just write response equals to request dot get and after that what will happen we'll be going to write the url so in my case the url will be http then like this then local host then nine to zero zero right after nine to zero zero we'll be going to like something like this then you have to write your index name and actually basically this entire thing you have to write okay so write this thing first okay okay so i write the entire thing and after that uh, some additional thing you have to actually mention so basically after that you have to write add and after that pretty equals to uh, uh, something like this no not equals to like this okay and then what will happen we have to write an authentication so i always forget the user id and password so what i'll do i'll just copy it from my last uh, thing so basically in the last tutorial i have this thing in my github so i just copy it from my github and i paste it here okay so something like this and this everything is fine so first we'll check whether we are getting the correct response or not so basically if it is working then it is going to give me a uh, response equals to 200 so response equals to 400 is coming why is this is uh, not sure localhost ak so maybe test index then okay so basically it is thousand so maybe because of that maybe make it like this 
yes response equals to 200 okay so now what exactly coming from the response that is the most important thing right so maybe what i'll do i'll just go ahead and do response.json okay so let's do this thing and let's see so i'm getting this thing right so basically my objective is actually check this found attribute right so basically uh, you can just do uh, hmm, found equals to response.json of found right and then print found right true right so basically if found then <coughs> sorry print dog id is present okay doc id is present now what we'll do we'll just go ahead and make it okay let's see so now it is not returning anything it means doc id is not present so basically in the else condition what we'll do print doc id is not present this is very uh, like basic thing but again this small small things are actually going to uh, help you to develop some sort of intuition towards elastic search querying okay or querying in the elastic search console like here in the developer console like when you are going to work for a large uh, integration project so before you actually design your index or before you start ingesting your data so that time you have to do multiple test uh, or hit and trial kind of a thing and that time that time these small small things are actually going to help you can do it manually but again if you have the uh, expertise of doing something uh, from the automation or automated way definitely will get the uh, edge like and also your boss or your client uh, anyone whoever is actually uh, like uh, uh, going to uh, like whoever is actually the stakeholder at, at the given point of time will be very happy from your work so these things are actually going to make difference in your career right uh, means everybody will be working in the company but few people are actually going to uh, get the highest level of uh, like uh, recognition right and how they are going to get the recognition based on their knowledge and talent right how the knowledge and talent will come by learning and what are the things you are going to learn that probably i'll help you up to some extent so your my objective is actually uh, point to your directive uh, guys to a right direction and your object your your responsibility is actually watch my video practice this thing and then enhance your knowledge by applying this small small techniques uh, on some sort of like use cases like these things are actually just a knowledge or just a tutorial but the actual thing will be going to start whenever you are going to start working on a project or maybe when you get some use case and you are going to apply your previous knowledge or this knowledge to uh, like encounter that use case right so that time probably you have to uh, apply your brain or apply your thought and that thought uh, will come uh, by practicing more and more right so to develop that uh, confidence or to develop that expertise uh, my recommendation or my request is actually not just try to watch the video just try to watch the video definitely after watching the video try to actually write this code or just practice everything similarly whatever i did in the video right so that will definitely help you okay so it's a very small tutorial but again in the next tutorial we'll be going to do uh, how to actually get the attribute or how to get the fields uh, from the document and if you have some uh, like uh, uh, some limitation or so maybe some sort of like uh, requirement like suppose your fields are actually having 10 fields but you don't want 10 fields you want only two fields or maybe you want to exclude only one specific field how to do those things we'll be going to actually uh, see in the next videos okay so that's it guys that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and happy learning and before i close or conclude this tutorial guys please share our video with your family and friends whoever is uh, you think whoever is going to uh, get some benefit out of it and uh, whoever you think is uh, uh, kind of uh, 
if my videos if our videos are actually relevant for them just try to share our videos with them and uh, last but not least uh, try to put some comment good or bad doesn't matter we only uh, looking for some honest feedback if you guys think that something needs to be done in a better way or something is still missing in our video or maybe if you want us to improve our quality in a different way please let us know we'll always try to actually um, uh, improve our quality and always we'll try to actually reach towards the best quality so that your knowledge or your like learning uh, objectives are going to meet right and also if somebody's already started working in some use case or project please let us know if you having any problem uh, like solving a use case or on, 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 on any tax so that you can include those tutorial in our videos as well okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day